<laughs> He's got a little hard on now. Yeah. Calm. <laughs> All right, lady, come on. Hi, here we are with Griffin Beast, and I'm now talking to... Sophie. And we're going to ask Sophie some questions, and the first question would be, uh, what geeky games do you do? Uh, we are the manufacturers and distributors of Saga, which is a skirmish-based historical war game. We also produce um, Jugular, and... Um, oh, the name of it escapes me. Jugular is a gladiator game. We also have a studio, Tomahawk, uh, manufactured uh, Seven Years War game, uh, French Indian War game. You'll get that right, otherwise people are very upset. Day, Someone will have a go at you yeah. if you don't oh, get the correct thing. Everyone will have a go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now he's asked you is, uh, oh, what have you got coming up in the next year? In the next year, we have the second box set of uh, uh, late Roman plastics, and that's going to be a cavalry box set. Uh, we have a new massed battle historical war game, which is called Sword Point. Okay. That should be out in November. And beyond that, there's a couple of secret projects. So much as I'd love to share, I can't. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Don't worry. And where can people find you? Uh, www.griffinbeast.com is the obvious place. Uh, but uh, figures are stocked in a lot of uh, gaming stores. But obviously, find this direct online is the easiest way. Brilliant. Now, last question, the most important one of all. If your company was a mythological creature, what would it be? A uh, mythological creature would be the mythological creature that we are. It would be the gripping beast. Oh, that is an answer that we need to know. Because that is the correct one. I couldn't ask for any more. And this young man is a very fine and talented sculptor. You can find him at other such places on the internet as well. <laughs> Hi, uh, here we are at Salute for the first time, uh, doing things for our channel. I'm with Rich from Steamforge, and he's going to ask us... How you doing? Yeah. Uh, basically, we're going to talk about now... It's very weird, you've got to do the mic backwards yeah, and forwards. I, I haven't got used to this bit yet. It's a bit new, I'm like, just hold it in front of me. Uh, and basically, we're going to talk about some new things about his uh, products and his company. Uh, and basically, we're going to ask you, what geeky games have you got for geeky gamers? Uh, so we have two geeky games. Uh, we have Guild Ball, which has now been around for an entire year in retail. So it's now, Salute is our like, birthday, so it's our second year. We're launching season two of Guild Ball. It's a fantasy football skirmish game. It's been really popular. We've been hitting it massive in the States. And we're so glad to be back at Salute, Salute again, launching our second product. Uh, we've also got our Kickstarter style on the 19th for Dark Souls. You see the big statue in the background? Uh, so yeah, we've managed to get the Dark Souls IP and we're going to make it a board game of Dark Souls, which is just wicked. So. That's absolutely fantastic. I know a lot of people are really excited about Dark Souls, the game line. itself. So yeah, it's got a big really, hype. Really good. Yeah. I mean, the game's launched, uh, the Dark Souls 3 launched on the 12th, uh, so we had a whole week. We put the first renders out, we put a few previews out, and the internet's exploded. So we're, we're really excited to see what happens. Uh, what can really people look forward to coming out in the next year? Okay, so obviously the Kickstarter on the next week, on Tuesday. But the big things as well, we've got uh, two card games in the Guild Ball world. So we've hooked up with DC, Dave Carl, from Private Air Press fame, and he's helping us design uh, two car games that are going to go into production. We're hoping the first one will be out at Gen Con. It's a very kind of think of Love Letter and Coup, that kind of style, like quick uh, pickup yeah, game, all in the Guild Ball world. And the other one's a bit more in detail, a bit more depth uh, to it, and that should be around spiel time later in the year. So yeah, it's going to be a really good year for Guild Ball and all ancillary products as well. That's really, really good. I like that one. Uh, next question we've got to ask you is, where can people find your products? Uh, so, steamforge.com, but we definitely encourage people to go to their local game stores. Uh, we're, as a company, one of our big stands is that retail and is so important to us. We want people playing our games in local game stores. We don't discount on our own website for that reason, and we try and encourage that kind of community spirit. So, please go to your local game stores. If they're not stocking it, drop us a line, steamforge.com. All the details are on there, and we'll get Guild Ball and potentially Dark Souls very soon into your hands. Remember that, always go to your local flag stores, Absolutely. friendly local gamers. Remember that, people. Forget the big ones. Sorry. All right, that's brilliant. Okay, so if you had to describe your company as a mythological creature, 
Yeah. What mythological creature would you use? I think we've been around like two years now. Uh, so two years from the Kickstarter. So really, it's only been a year in retail. It's 12 months I've had. Uh, we're definitely a dragon. Like we've, we've come into the industry. We've just done what the hell we want. Like we, we don't care. We, we run by our own steam. We do what we want. And it seems to be people liking what we're doing. You know, we won't stick by convention. We are fresh. We are new. And we're quite happy to break boundaries down. So we're definitely that kind of power level. What, what you've done wrong there is you've now confused Will because he thinks dragons are real. Oh, he doesn't right, understand yeah. they're right. mythological. So this is a weird one for him to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, here we are again. And I'm with um, KR and this is... Daryl from KR. It's a good start. <laughs> uh, now we're going to go straight into the first question. And the first question is, what makes your company good for geeky gamers? Uh, we do great storage and transport. Um, we've got soft foam in hard cases. It's what we started with 10 years ago. It means that you can stack as much as you want into a case, your model will always be safe because they've got six sides of soft foam. No matter which way you store them, and the KRK system now in five sizes is modular and you can put it in the Kaiser bags, the transport bags, the backpacks, or the aluminium cases, and you can mix and match to suit. And when you're at home, you can just have your card cases on one side, write on them for what models you've got in there, mix and match when you go out. It's as easy as that. Brilliant, that's a really good story solution, I can tell. <laughs> okay, we're going to the next question now. Uh, what, people, what have people got to look forward to in the next year? Um, we've got some great new products planned, but particularly this year, if we just head we'll that way slightly. You can see exactly what people are looking at at the moment, uh, which is the new Halo bags, which we've got released. We've worked closely with uh, Spartan Games and with Microsoft and 343 Industries um, to develop a range of Halo bags for the Fleet Battles game and the new Ground Command game coming out. And they all feature the fabulous Halo logo. And I think everybody will love that for the people who are playing the game. We've got the custom trays that match it in the right colors for both factions, for the Covenant and the UNSC. And backpacks, Kaiser Wands, card cases, aluminum. And as I say, it's modular for KR. So whatever you've got, you can always interchange it. Like it, that's good, that's good. Um, where can people find your product? Well, you can find it at www.caremulticase.com uh, but also we're on eBay, we've got an Amazon shop and we're in most of the retailers in the UK. Um, a lot of retailers across Europe and a lot of retailers in the States as well. Pretty much, if you go to your friendly local gaming store, they'll stock or they'll be able to get KR for you. Well, we've talked about it before, always go to your local friendly gaming stores. Remember that, people. But it's often the best place. Yeah. They'll always do a discount as well, and it helps that side of the community grow. Okay, and last, last final question. If your company was a mythological creature, what would it be? I'd have to pick Prometheus. Oh, it's a good answer. Everyone likes a bit of Prometheus going on. The man that stole th the, the fire from the gods. But the mainly because he's a protector. Oh, <laughs> well done. Good answer. Thank you. That's us. <laughs> Hi, here we are with Mantic Games and I'm with Matt Gilbert from, uh, from Mantic. I'm the Chief Operations Officer. That's good to know. That's something we need to have. That's information. Uh, what we need to know now is uh, what... Oh. <laughs> We've, we're moving now. It's fine. Don't worry. We've got this. Um, what games do you make for geeky gamers? Uh, we've got a really good product range, actually. So, uh, you know, we've built up over the years. Uh, we cater for fantasy and the sci-fi markets now. Um, this year, uh, we're also expanding our, our range into, uh, well, you've probably seen on Kickstarter, The Walking Dead. Uh, yeah. So we're kind of breaking out of the fa uh, that kind of fantasy and, and sci-fi thing. Uh, Dungeon Saga was good for us last year. So that was, um, you know, in the, the kind of going back nostalgic hero quest type dungeon dungeon crawler yeah, stuff yeah. and that's been really successful and been really well received so yeah we've got a really good product range now that's what i see and uh the next question is uh what have we got looked forward to in the next year well yep so we've got for kings of war kings of war is just becoming huge for us um both in in, in the uk australia in, in europe it's going massively in the states as well um so we're looking to really push on that make sure there's constant flow of releases yeah. for that so we've got uh, empire of dust coming out army which is uh, kind of uh, summertime uh, later in the year, we're probably looking at the uh, the Fishmen army that people always wanted. So we're going to have a go at that, and, and we'll just keep rolling on from there. And of course, later on in the year, we'll uh, start looking at Warpath. So we've got a Warpath uh, Kickstarter to ship, and then the Walking Deadlands as well. That's good. That's good. More, more. It's, it just keeps coming. It's brilliant. Keeps coming. Um, 
Where can people find your products? Uh, well, we've obviously got our own store. Uh, we're out in uh, retailers, so you know, on the, on the, we're looking to push into the high street and stuff as well. Obviously, with the the, the, the ranges, we're expanding it. So, um, and we go through normal distribution channels. Yeah. So, so yeah, your your normal freelance uh, freelance game store. Yeah, brilliant. Everyone loves local friendly gaming stores. They're the place to get your stuff from. Don't worry about the big companies. Um, and the last and most important question of all: If your company was a mythological creature, what would it be? Well, I, I did have a long, hard think of this, and just because they're cool, um, and I've written them into quite a few uh, Dungeon Saga scenarios, it's got to be a Chimera. It's a very good choice of an animal. That's all I can say. Well done. Pleasure interviewing you. Hopefully we'll see you again soon, and we'll carry on then. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Keep it in your pants. <laughs>